Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Around the League. Today we are updating our video for the ACC, what is formerly and still technically officially known as the Atlantic Coast Conference. Of course, the reason I say formerly is there are some new teams to make up this conference for this coming college sports season. Uh, and they are not on the Atlantic coast. So a huge controversy with the new relocation of a variety of these teams, two of them coming from the former PAC 12, one of them coming elsewhere in Texas, not of course making up the Atlantic coast necessarily. So uh, the whole terminology of Atlantic coast conference has changed, but with three new schools making up the ACC this year, I figured it was appropriate to update our video. And today we're going to start with the new teams and work our way over to the original Atlantic Coast. There are 18 member t uh, member schools of the ACC this season, and we're going to start in Berkeley. So if we zoom in over here on California, Berkeley is going to sit just across the bay from San Francisco, of course, in this Bay Area. And if we go north of Oakland, we're going to find Berkeley, and it's hard to miss on the eastern edge of campus, University of California, Berkeley, better just known in sports as the University of California. Of course, California Memorial Stadium, uh, home to a variety of star quarterbacks, Super Bowl appearance quarterbacks. The ones that come to mind for me are Aaron Rodgers and Jared Goff. Both went to the University of California, Berkeley, of course, known as one of the more liberal schools in the country, uh, sitting in this Bay Area here, but one of the new schools in the ACC this season. The other one sits to the south of the Bay here, near San Jose. Of course, we're going to go mm, a little bit halfway between the two metropolitan areas here uh, and find Palo Alto. And on the western side of Palo Alto, is the university known as Stanford. Of course, the uh, the ninth Ivy League school or the West Coast Ivy League school, one of the best academic schools in the country, Stanford Stadium right there, home to the Cardinal. They join as well from the Pac-12. And the other one joining, not from the Pac-12, but from the American, is in Texas. We zoom in on Dallas, and it's really one of the biggest probably the only major school in Dallas proper that of course being Southern Methodist University better known as SMU so if we go straight north here toward uh, University Park or Highland Park um, on my screen the thing that's popping up is the George W Bush Presidential Center that of course sits on the campus of SMU Gerald J Ford Stadium home to the SMU Mustangs they join as well but now we work our way back to the core of the ACC. One team doesn't play football in the ACC. Of course, they're independent, but they do play all of their other sports. That is in Northern Indiana at South Bend. Uh, this is the University of Notre Dame. Technically play in the suburb officially known as Notre Dame. There's Notre Dame Stadium. Touchdown Jesus is going to sit, uh, better known as the Word of Life mural. Uh, I have had the privilege of playing at the Purcell Pavilion for a uh, basketball tournament when I was in college. Fantastic campus, beautiful campus, um, but that sits there in South Bend, Indiana, uh, home of Pete Buttigieg. Then we stay kind of in the Midwest, northern southeast here by going south into Kentucky. And not Louisville, but Lexington. University of Kentucky sits in Lexington, not really known as a football school, better known, of course, as a basketball school home to the Wildcats. Uh, but they sit on the southern edge of town here. Kroger Field is home to their football team. Let's then, for consistency's sake, move all the way down to Florida and just stay on the coast because now we're going to be able to stay all the way on the eastern coast. So uh, two teams play in Florida. First one is down in Miami, specifically in Coral Gables. This, of course, home to the University of Miami. So to the southwest of Coral Gables, south of the Riviera Country Club, you're going to find the University of Miami, of course, not the one in Ohio, uh, but one that has had a variety of successful sports programs. The one that comes to mind is the late 90s football, or excuse me, early 90s football team uh, that gave us late 90s NFL stars, such as Ray Lewis, as well as professional wrestlers, such as Dwayne The Rock Johnson. They do play their games up at the former Dolphin Stadium, now known as Hard Rock Stadium, way to the north, but the university campus uh, is sitting there in Coral Gables. 
The other team that plays in Florida is all the way up in the state capital of Tallahassee, a campus that I am personally familiar with. Uh, this is Florida State University, home to the Seminoles. Uh, so just to the west of downtown Tallahassee, you're going to find Doake Campbell Stadium, home to the fifth place Florida State Seminoles. I know they're still salty about that. Rumor has it that both Florida State and Clemson are looking for a joint bid out of the ACC. So we may have to update our video in the future. Uh, right now, it's rumored that their first choice is the Big Ten. Uh, their second choice is a move then to the SEC and their third choice being a move to the Big 12. But we'll keep that updated if there is anything to come in that range. One team plays in Georgia. It's not Georgia State, it's not the University of Georgia, it's Georgia Tech. So we zoom in on Atlanta here and Georgia Tech are going to play their games on the campus of the Georgia Institute of Technology. Of course, downtown there is Georgia State, but Georgia Tech is going to be directly north. Uh, quite a larger campus, Bobby Dodd Stadium, home to the Yellow Jackets there. Gave us such football greats as WWE champion Roman Reigns. Don't ask me why all of these football players end up wrestlers in the ACC. Maybe it is a show of strength of their programs. But regardless, then we move over to South Carolina. And in South Carolina, we are going to have a single team that plays over in Clemson. So this one's always tricky for me because I can never remember where the city of Clemson actually is. So Clemson sits in the kind of western point of South Carolina, if you can think of it as a triangle. Um, and you'll find it best, I honestly don't know. Somewhere near Pendleton and Valley View, there sits Clemson. Clemson University, uh, a one of the better known football schools in the ACC, gave us such greats as Trevor Lawrence, and that's all that's coming to mind. But I do love Memorial Stadium. It's one of my favorite designed stadiums in all of college football. Frank Howard Field, Howard's Rock. Of course, the team runs down from Howard's Rock through this grassy area. Um, a really cool tradition. And it's just a really cool design for a stadium, in my personal opinion. Don't ask me specifics. Then we move up to North Carolina. And this is where we get the likes of three separate schools. Two of them are going to be really, really close to Raleigh. In fact, all three of them are going to be close to Raleigh. So we zoom in on Raleigh proper. And of course, I complain about it in the hockey video. But if we go all the way to the west here, we're going to find North Carolina State University that is home to the Wolfpack. Uh, they play their football way over here in the direction of PNC Arena. That is Carter Finley Stadium, home to North Carolina State. And then Chapel Hill is located nearby. If we go to the west here, Zoom in on Chapel Hill. That is, of course, home to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, better just known as UNC. Not a well-known football school. Keenan Memorial Stadium sits right there. Uh, but, of course, better known for the Dean E. Smith Center, home to UNC basketball. And then the other team plays up in Durham. So um, the other big city that makes up the Raleigh-Durham general metropolitan area, uh, we are going to find Duke University. So uh, I have a number of family members who went to Duke University and I have never been there in person. So uh, how are we going to find Duke University? If we zoom back in on the city and go directly west, we should be able to find it. It makes up kind of this big western part of town. Uh, Wallace Wade Stadium, of course, another one of those ACC schools, not very well known for their football program, but their basketball program, very, very successful, very, very well known. Of course, UNC fans will argue not as successful as them, but that is beyond the point. Let's then move up to Virginia. Uh, and we have two teams that play in Virginia. The first one is going to be in Charlottesville. So Charlottesville is going to be all the way to the north here. Um, kind of directly northwest of Richmond. And if we zoom in here on Charlottesville, of course, uh, known for a variety of reasons in the past 10 years, not very good reasons, but uh, in the western edge of town here, that's the University of Virginia proper. They play football at Scott Stadium, another team better known for basketball uh, there that is home to the University of Virginia Cavaliers. And the other team plays in Blacksburg. So if we zoom out here, Blacksburg is another one that's pretty, pretty tough to find if you're not familiar with your geography. Um, but they are going to play all the way over here on the western edge of the state. Zoom in on Blacksburg. And this is home to Virginia Tech University. So uh, 
maybe a better known football program. Um, but Lane Stadium there, that is home to the Virginia Tech Hokies. Next, we're going to work our way to the north. We're going to skip Maryland and go all the way up to Pennsylvania. And there is a single team that plays in Pennsylvania. Of course, that is up in Pittsburgh. It's the University of Pittsburgh, the team known as the Panthers. They play their football games uh, alongside the Steelers at what is now known as Acrisure Stadium. But the University of Pittsburgh is going to be over on the eastern side of town, right next to Carnegie Mellon University. Um, they kind of share this North Oakland area. Um, so directly west of the point, you just keep going and you're going to find both Carnegie Mellon, but the one that is a part of the ACC, the University of Pittsburgh. Of course, they play their basketball events there occasionally at the Peterson Events Center. The Pitt Panthers. Uh, then we move up into New York. And in New York, we have a single school known as Syracuse. So Syracuse is going to be in upstate New York very easy to find. It's kind of the, the big city that sits right in the middle of the heart of New York. Uh, so this is by the fingers. Zoom in here. And all of their sports, both basketball and football, are played at the Carrier Dome or the JMA Wireless Dome, as it is known here. This huge white dome uh, has been renovated. The roof has been replaced in the last several years. But uh, Syracuse University, home to the Syracuse Orange. And then last but not least, unless I missed one, and I'm double checking my list to make sure I didn't miss one, uh, but we're going to go all the way to Massachusetts and touch on Boston College. Of course, there are a number of schools in the Boston area, Harvard being one of them, Boston University being another one. But if we go all the way to the west of Coolidge Corner, over by the Chestnut Hill Reservoir, we are going to find Boston College. Uh, this is I want to say the largest school in Boston. I don't know that number wise if it's actually larger than Harvard. I want to say their undergrad most certainly is, but don't don't quote me on that. Uh, the Conti Forum, of course, I know that from hockey. Boston College has a very, very solid uh, hockey team, but the Golden Eagles play football there at Alumni Stadium has given us such greats as Matt Ryan. So anyways, that is the new state of the Atlantic Coast Conference. Let me know what you thought in the comments section below. Uh, if there's other conferences you want to see, I'm going to try to get around to all of the D1 schools at some point, um, or at least the conferences. Let me know if there are any specific ones you want to see jumped in the queue. Uh, otherwise, check out more content for a variety of things, different leagues around the country, around the Western Hemisphere, as well as over in Europe. Until the next time, though, we will hopefully see you very, very soon.